Well, welcome back to the Fairfield Halls in Croydon. This one billed potentially as fight of the afternoon. It's welterweight. It's the London final. It's Kelvin Fawaz against Ted Cheeseman. I'm Kelvin uh, Bilal Fawaz. I box for the All Stars Boxing Gym in Harrow Road, Mr. Akai. I am the I am the light middleweight champion for 2012 ABA, and now I'm going down to the welterweight to aim for the. ABA champion again. It's going to be an entertaining fight. I'm going to do my best. I don't think anyone can stop me if I put my mind to it. And I've trained so hard. I've even chopped bricks. I've chopped wood. That Maywood is chopping woods and I'm even chopping bricks. So it's going to be an entertaining show. I'm stronger than ever and I have the heart for it. So yeah, turn up. My name is Ted Cheeseman. I'm 19 years of age. I box for the Fisher ABC and I'm from Bermondsey in South London. Um, I've, I'm, this is my second year as a senior. I went in the senior ABA last year and I've, I won the London title and I got to the national semis and lost to um, a GB fighter called Echo Essaman on a split decision. I thought I won it, it was a close fight, but it went his way, so good luck to him. And he's in the WSB team for Great Britain at, at the moment, and he's beat current world number four and a few other good fighters, so he's doing well, so it shows what level I'm at. And I've won six national titles as a junior. I've um, boxed for England 10 times. I've been to the World Youth Games and got, was ranked number six in the world. So. But like this year, I'm a year more mature, and I think this is going to be my year. I've already beat um, a GB fighter on Friday, uh, who everyone thought I was going to lose to. But I went and won on a unanimous decision, comfortable, and proves everyone what level I'm at and how much I've improved again from last year. So I'm ready. Well, Ted Cheeseman, a big name to look out for this afternoon, as is his opponent, Kelvin Fawaz. Cheeseman has to be considered a national prospect at welterweight. Shared the ring with two of the British Lionheart squad, which is the Olympic feeder squad for the uninitiated. He uh, faced Scott Fitzgerald and Echo Essiman. Fitzgerald, Commonwealth gold medalist, and Essiman, prominent boxer for the Lionhearts in the World Series of Boxing. Kelvin Fawaz, Northwest Divisional Champion, a man who's in very good form himself, winning both Sunday and Monday. On social media early this week, Kelvin posted a video of himself chopping wood at home, following in the footsteps of Floyd Mayweather, who's been working hard over in the States in preparation for his blockbuster fight against Manny Pacquiao on the 2nd of May in Las Vegas. And, well, although the prize on that side of the pond is on a different scale to the finals this afternoon, personally, this will mean just as much to young Kelvin Fawaz as it will to the sports pound-for-pound pound king. So three three-minute rounds, as always. And it's Fawaz, as expected, taking to the outside of the ring, just working behind that jab. I expect to see Cheeseman walking him down as this fight goes on. Ched Cheeseman out of Fisher ABC with the bright yellow trainers, the black vest and the red gloves. Nice one-two from Fawaz. Just nice head movement evades the oncoming jab from Cheeseman. Nice long lead, right hand from Cheeseman. Just momentarily backed Kelvin Fowers up onto the ropes there, but he took it well and has come back with a right hand of his own. Now Cheeseman just sensing perhaps he hurts uh, his opposite man. And you just sense he's going to try and make Fowers really, really work for this, Ted Cheeseman. It's good footwork from. Fawaz just using the full width of the ring. Good head movement, evades the one-two. Now comes back with a short combination of his own and a jab off the back of it. A nice lead right hand from Fawaz. He rarely plants his feet, the man in white. Making him a hard target to hit for Ted Cheeseman. Just 
Nice hook on the inside from Fawaz. And he fights out of the All-Stars Boxing Gym and Youth Club. Founded all the way back in 1974 by Mr. Asola Akei MBE. And uh, he set up the All-Stars Youth Club after raising £150,000 for a refurbishment to make the building fit for purpose and giving up his job in the process to train as a youth leader. And that Harrow building's now become an iconic community focal point for youths from all backgrounds, providing positive activities away from the temptation of knife, gun and drug crime on the streets. Good work from Fawaz in the opening round. He was on the move when Cheeseman attacked, but when given the opportunity, he went to work and caused a bit of damage. Perhaps just a slight nick to the left of the nose of Fawaz, although it could also be from his endeavours over the past seven days. See Cheeseman there with uh, Steve Iser not sitting in his corner, opting to stand instead. So one round down, two to go. Between Kelvin Fawaz from All Stars Gym, all in white, the red boots and the blue gloves, and Ted Cheeseman all in black with the red gloves. See Fowers just pouring out that jab, using it as part range finder, partly to measure his man and keep the distance. And always on the move, Fawaz. Cheeseman's got to try and cut the ring off a little bit better than he is doing. He's just following his man at the moment, rather than mirroring his movements and cutting the ring off. Nice lead right from Fawaz. Just got through the guard there. Put his back to the ropes. And again, measuring his man with a jab. Nice long left hook from Cheeseman. He's absorbed some shots from Kelvin Fawaz, but undeterred, he's walked forwards, chin down, gloves high, putting his un opposite man under some sustained pressure. He's really going to look to test the fitness of Kelvin Fawaz, who's been on the move for the first few minutes of the fight. But he's been made to keep his punch out but high because Cheeseman will ca continue to walk forwards. But in the process, Cheeseman is walking onto a few shots. And his foul has hurt here. The crowd are beginning to rise in anticipation. Some of these shots from Cheeseman may be getting through. But either way, it's turning into a real war of attrition. Who will be ground down first? Of course, Fawaz, the champion from the weight below, stepping up a weight this year. And that will be a huge sign of quality if he were to win the ABA National Championships in two different weight divisions. And we could really be looking at one to watch for the future, and he goes to work on the inside, finishes a nice inside flurry with a left hook on Cheeseman, who again just stands in the pocket. Real tough customer. And yet again, he walks forward, not giving Fowers an inch of a breather hit. Lovely footwork from the All-Stars man, and a good finish from Fowers to the second round. And you'd guess that perhaps he's starting to edge this one, but Cheeseman has exhibited some relentless pressure, as you'll see here. Just comes forward with a jab. Fawaz on the back foot and always throwing Fawaz, but Cheeseman undeterred by even the most solid of shots that landed. And you see there, every time that Cheeseman gets Fawaz onto the ropes, digging in really solid shots to the body. 
Kevin Fowler is in tremendous physical shape. Well, Ted Cheeseman, one of three British boxers at the Frank Bruno Boxing Academy who've made it onto the British podium squad. Interesting indeed this, the academy itself at the Priory School in the London Borough of Bromley is one of only seven schools and colleges in the country to host the scheme, endorsed by the national governing body, England Boxing. It's a sports apprenticeship that aims to educate boxers alongside their training in order to help them reach their full potential in the sport. And since the scheme began at the Priory, three student boxers, Harvey Horn, Dan Woolwich, and Ted Cheeseman have worked their way onto the GB development squad and are now recognised as having GB podium potential. And of course, this afternoon for Ted Cheeseman will also be another big indicator, but he's right up against it here, he's putting huge amounts of pressure on extremely talented Calvin Fowers, who continues to throw. He's landed some really clean shots, even though the guard of Cheeseman is tight and high. Swings and misses again. And you get the sense that Cheeseman just desperate to plant his feet and unload, but such is the movement of Fowers. He really does make that a difficult conundrum. A nice left hook from Fowers. Just momentarily stopped Cheeseman in his tracks. Then a right hand did the same. We said it was going to be a fight of the afternoon candidate, and at the moment, it's living up to it. It's been a test of wills as much as a, a test of technique and strength for both of these men. At the moment, for me, Kelvin Fowler is just edging this one. He may be on the back foot, but he's the man landing the shots. Again, Cheeseman shoves his man back onto the ropes. That's where he knows, if anywhere, he might be able to have some success. Traps his man in the corner, goes to work on the body. Fawaz responds. Now Cheeseman to the head, misses an uppercut. Fawaz landing a couple on the inside of his own. Slips under a right hook. Fantastic stuff in the corner. Just a relentless finish to this round, and Cheeseman again throwing and missing. Well, if anything, these men will have gained each other's respect at the final belt. Been a terrific encounter so far. As much as Cheeseman swings, he's telegraphing these. Fawaz showing excellent head movement to avoid them. Just spins off the ropes there, gets back into the centre of the ring, lands a right hand. And for me, he's just out boxing Cheeseman hit. Phenomenal encounter. Now, Ted Cheeseman just uh, flexing his biceps at the camera, but has he done enough? Cheeseman's plan A really was to get his man onto the ropes and unload with combinations because at range, Calvin Fawaz was just simply the better man. So it was close in the end, but it was Kelvin Fawaz. Kelvin Fawaz it is that sneaks the split decision and won't be able to sleep well tonight. With a head 
to a short commercial break. We will continue with the action on LondonLive.co.uk. We'll see you in around five minutes' time. Congratulations. That was the incredible, an incredible fight. How tough was an opponent with the Cheeseman? That was so close to call. First of all, what a lovely top you have. Oh, well, thanks very much. <laughs> um, uh, the fight was okay. Uh, I anticipated working hard and the hard work paid off. And the point is, I've always wanted one of these and I finally got it. Would you like to try it on? Uh, maybe it'll go with my top that you, that oh, you like as well. <laughs> sense of humour. That's good, that's good. And also, uh, I have a court date on the 5th of May against the Home Office to allow me to turn pro or box for Great Britain. I just hope that uh, the Home Office allows me to actually do something good for the country. I mean, well, I that was a fantastic fight and I think we'd like to see a lot more of you. What do you want? Do you, I really enjoyed that. Do you want to go pro or do you want to go into the podium squad? I, I, I am very... I, I'm, I'm spontaneous. I don't know. I, I, I will go with the flow. But at the moment I'm getting old. As you can see, I'm having grey hair right now. So. Uh, I didn't like to say, you know. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, um, I would like to go pro, but if the England calls me on, which they have already done, but I don't have the ability to box for them because I don't have a passport to travel. So if they call me on and I have a passport, then I would love to box for England. Well, I hope they're listening out there because we'd like to see more of you. So thank you and congratulations. Okay, and maybe I can buy a top for myself as well. Maybe you can. I'll uh, give you the details after. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm actually joking about a top. <laughs> All right, go on, go on. You too. Congratulations.